Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. It's November 21st, 2012. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right here is Brock Shimano. Brock, let's jump into fire tip here. See how the grains ended the day on a quiet Wednesday here before Thanksgiving. As we can see, we have Deese corn down two and a half cents. Soybeans on the January contract off five and a half. We had Chicago wheat unchanged and Kansas City wheat moving a bit lower, down a penny and three quarters there on the day. Brock, like I was saying, a very quiet day in Chicago. We did have prices move higher initially in the day, kind of back off toward the end. Relatively unchanged though overall. Not a lot of fundamental drivers in this market today. One thing, however, though, that we did get was the EIA ethanol production numbers. You want to kind of break down what we're looking at there? Yeah, what the EIA reported this morning was a reduction in production of ethanol by about 13,000 barrels per day. That left us with about 811,000 barrels per day that we were producing. Going along with that, we saw a large uptick in the, the stocks of ethanol. We, right. That increased by about a million barrels as well, up to just under 19 million barrels uh, of stocks. Uh, if you take a look at this chart that we've been watching throughout the marketing year, you can see the red bars are what we actually are seeing for weekly production of ethanol. 811,000 is what we saw this week. The green line is what we are anticipating, giving crush margins for ethanol. You can see that we have been a little bit ahead of it uh, over the last couple of weeks, but we did fall down right on right in line with our expectations. The green line is uh, the expectations to meet the 4.5 uh, billion bushels of corn going to ethanol. Our current model is showing us that we're about 100 million bushels behind that. So we're going to have to pay attention to this in the upcoming USDA reports. Yeah. You know, we did get EIA today, Logan. Tomorrow, or excuse me, Friday we're going to get the export sales report a day late due to Thanksgiving. You know, the early estimates are for uh, corn uh, exports to be about 300 to 450,000 uh, metric tons, right. soybeans to be about 400 to 650,000 metric tons, and wheat to be 200 to 400,000 metric tons. I know uh, soybeans in particular has been a hot topic in the market lately. Right. I know you looked into some information out of the China and what they're doing for imports. Uh, what did you find out? Yeah, Brock, well, you know, soybeans have been on a really red hot pace here for most of the marketing year. If we take a look right now, the USDA is projecting about uh, chi projecting China to import about 63 million metric tons of soybeans here during the current marketing year. Right now, our models show that we're sitting about 750,000 tons ahead of pace of where we need to be to meet those USDA expectations you know and that's that's been reflective here in export inspections export sales here in recent weeks but if we take a look a little bit deeper here and see kind of how the US makes up those Chinese imports here the green line is seasonally uh, what percentage of Chinese imports are made up of US soybeans here and as you can see we only have two months worth of data but in September and October we uh, we ran at a very quick pace there compared to, to where we see it here historically take a look at an October in, uh, in in specific here typically in October US soybean Soybeans comprise about 20% of those imported by China. We actually came in 39% here uh, in this year. So as, as you can see, like I said before, export inspections, uh, export sales have been have been showing that the export demand is really there for beans. Uh, we certainly expect it to continue here uh, moving forward. And I think this higher percentage of U.S. Uh, exports going to China uh, than, than we typically see is really indicative of what happened in South America last year with their right. relatively poor crop. So it's going to be more important this year to actually pay attention to what's going on in South America, Brazil, Argentina. We know they're running a yeah. little bit behind on their current planning pace, so that's going to be something we're definitely going to have to pay attention to as we move through their season. Right, you know, a lot of weight right now is put, be, being put on South America to really refill global stocks of soybeans, and just yesterday uh, we had Oil World come out and downgrade South American and, and Argentinians' production of soybeans by about 3 million metric tons there, so it's going to be watched exceptionally closely here as we move through the winter, and we'll keep you posted on that here on Grain TV. You know, I think that wraps up our show here for Wednesday afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Everyone out there, have a great uh, Thanksgiving holiday here. We'll see you back here Friday morning.